Hey everybody, video here for you today. Now I uploaded a video a little earlier, an interview with John Anthony West. I will leave that link in the comment section if you want to check that out. We're going to go back to Ancient America today. And I am also using a new microphone and I'm still trying to figure out the best way to use it, how far away to sit from it when I talk, adjustments, stuff like that. So if the audio isn't the same all the way through, well, it's trial and error for me today. But I've had a few messages on this site lately. This is a request video, and I did a video on this about two years ago. But I listened to that the other night, and I'm just not happy with that one. So we're going to make a replacement video. We got a lot better look on Google Earth. But this place is very important, and it's right down here in Oxford, near Anniston, Alabama. Right down here. Here's a video I did the last day of August locating the largest stone pyramid mound north of Mexico. This is one of my better Ancient America videos. A lot of interest in this. The landowner confirmed that it was still on his property, what was left of it. So stone pyramid mounds, they were in the United States, but they are pretty much lost to history today. Only fragments of them or just the bases of them remain. There are some in Tennessee, Georgia, around this area, but let's go down and look at that place in Alabama. Here's the shopping center, Sam's Club, the main tenant here. And then right behind it, we have the large, the large mound. And this is where a stone pyramid mound existed. And then this story has been whitewashed in a sad case of lost history and kind of some shady things going on here. But there you can clearly see it. And that's a lot better look than in my last video on this site. But you can clearly see the remnants of that stone pyramid mound. You could probably see the whole area from on top of this mound. I also have some questions. Is this mound that it is built on top of? Is that a natural hill? Or is that a man-made construction or a little both? I'm not sure, but that is a great look at a pyramid mound that once existed. And do the people around here know this is up here? From the street down there, you probably have no clue what's up here. Does, do, are people allowed up here? Well, I'm gonna give you a look. And if you destroy an ancient pyramid, stone pyramid mound, I don't care who the hell you are, I'm going to talk about you. There is a good look at the feature. I'm not sure how much of this is man-made and how much is a natural hill, but that was certainly a very sacred spot for people living here maybe 1,500 years ago. I have read one story that they kind of estimate that's how old these ruins are, but that is just speculation. That is a very impressive feat, and this must have been a super important site a long time ago. I will leave a few links below. Most of these are old. It says, it's surprisingly easy to build a Sam's Club on a Native American heritage site. And here are the people at the grand opening here. All smiles. It says, people of Oxford, Alabama waited for more than four years to shop at Sam's Club, the Walmart subscription megastore. The economy delayed construction. At least one sinkhole opened up on the site. Then there was the Native American mound, which the city bulldozed to obtain fill dirt for the new store. Since then, officials largely succeeded in sweeping the matter under the rug, or more realistically, under Sam's Club. It says when the damage happened, the mound of stones and the hill it sat on were a hot topic in Oxford. American Indians protested at the base of the hill next to the future site of the store. But it says among hundreds of people who turned out for the long-awaited grand opening, I couldn't find one person concerned. Just reading a little more, it says, You're the first person to bring it up, said the Sam's Club store manager. The only report I've seen was from a paranormal reporter, said a Walmart PR rep named Diana, who showed me around with the enthusiasm of a real estate agent speaking to newlyweds. We didn't take any dirt from the hill, she added, though I hadn't even asked. Dirt definitely went somewhere. Even four years later, the hill has a bald patch the size of a house. And here is a look at that mound. Years ago, before the stone mound was taken out, that might be it right there. Just not sure. At first, Oxford officials didn't try to conceal their plans to use an archaeological site for fill. They went ahead even after a survey commission from the University of Alabama noted that more digging might uncover ancient burials. Oxford Mayor Leon Smith did not agree, and the official truth bent with him. The local paper reported that he told the American Indian leaders it had never been a burial ground. It was for smoke signals. City officials retracted their earlier statements and agreed with the mayor. The University of Alabama's archaeologist wrote a new report, deciding the pile of rocks was not man-made after all. But by that point, 
that had been mostly bulldozed away. You know what BS is, right? said Mayor Smith when I asked about the mound. He denied that anything about the hill was ever in question. There was never any doubt in the mind of Jackson State anthropologist Harry Holstein, who said Oxford Stone Mound could have been 1,500 years old, maybe older. Since the 1980s, Holstein has conducted archaeological work on the area's ancient Creek Indian sites, including the mound that overlooked the shopping center. We excavated that site in the 1980s, but did not record it. People dig into them. If we told people there's a stone mound up there, I was afraid somebody would go up there and loot it. You wonder why this deep history of ancient America isn't known? Well, it's because crap like this goes on. It says, meanwhile, Oxford summed up its indigenous history with one line on a plaque at the corner of Oak and Main Street. It says, long before this history was settled, it was inhabited by Creek Indians. It reads, specifically, Holstein told me the Creek Village was on land beneath the parking lot of the grocery store. This article also goes over other stone ruins in the nearby area, the hills, in the woods. Are any of you down there familiar with any of these ruins? I'm curious. I made the video months ago on Skelton Mountain in Alabama. I'll try to leave the link for that video below. But it says, the city of Oxford owns the historic sites near the strip malls and none are open to the public. As we were checking out the recreated mounds, and they have recreated some mounds, just built some artificial brand new mounds to appease people, I guess. It says, an old man on a riding mower warned us to scram before the bosses arrived. He also said the descendants of the Creek people were visiting from Oklahoma the following week to hold a ceremony. Just reading the final evaluation of the mound, it says, the city of Oxford and its archaeological advisors have completed a review and evaluation of the stone mound and have concluded that the mound is a result of a natural phenomenon and does not Meet the eligibility criteria for the National Register of Historic Places. In fact, the report does not conclude the mound is a result of natural phenomena, but says very clearly it is of cultural origin. And while the University Office of Archaeological Research does not believe the site qualifies for the National Register of Historic Places, the Alabama Historical Commission disagrees, noting that the structure meets at least three criteria for inclusion its association with a broad pattern of history, architecture, and embodying distinctive characteristics. This is just a shady story, and I will leave a few links below, but it's clear that some people got paid off, contributions were made to the mayor, and he has since passed away, by the way. I wonder if he would like his burial grounds ripped up, but that is a very important site. Stone pyramid mounds, they are not that common in America, Tennessee, Georgia, we talked about the one in Ohio. This is about roughly 38, 40 meters across. So how many feet would that be? It's not a small structure, that is for sure. There's a look at what remains of a stone pyramid mound in Oxford, overlooking the Sam's Club down there. Part of this mound was removed for fill from the store. This was swept under the rug. So that's why I'm talking about it. If you destroy an ancient America site, <laughs> chances are pretty good I'm going to talk about you. I've talked about other sites in Alabama, of course, Moundville and the Bessemer site, a few others, Bottle Creek Mounds, Skelton Mountain. Hope you thought that was cool. And you might be seeing me on a long video coming out on a few other channels in the next day or two. I'm not really sure. Did a podcast. Always nice talking with friends and making new friends. Hope you thought that was cool and you all have. Very nice, Dad.